Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to decorate a gorgeous lemon themed buttercream cake. So recently I uploaded the cake that I made for my sister's wedding. Well, it was actually for one of the after parties and it was Italian themed and it was decorated in lemons with leaves and everyone went crazy for this cake and wanted a tutorial. So here it is. Now, this technique is kind of in between painting with buttercream and also the palette knife effect. So there's a few techniques going on, but I am gonna demonstrate it on a plain white cake. Of course, to get to this stage, you can visit one of my other videos on my channel. I show you how to build up cakes, how to apply a second buttercream coating and smooth out to perfection. And of course, you can see all of this in my brand new book, George's Cakes 2. So let's get on with decorating. So what I've done is colored some of my Swiss meringue buttercream in two shades of yellow for the lemons. And I've got two shades of green for the branches and leaves. And I've left the lighter green in a bowl. And what I've done is put the darker green in a piping bag and cut a very small opening at the end because I want to pipe on the branches first. When you're doing a cake like this, it's good to kind of place out where you want the decoration. And I find putting the smaller decorations such as the branches first and then you can build on the branches if that makes sense. So the idea is that I'm going to be dropping the leaves and the lemons from the top of the cake. So what I'm going to do is go straight on with the darker green and pipe on some branches. So squeezing steadily, I'm going to go in a few different directions in different lengths to kind of fill up the top of the cake with some branches. So this one kind of came out in a little bit of a squiggle, but I'm not worried because you're actually gonna barely see the branches at the end. You can scrape it off and do it again if you want, but I'm gonna leave it and show you how to cover it. So now at the moment, it doesn't look like much. There's only a few random green squiggles on a cake, but now we're gonna bring it to life by drawing on some lemons. So like I said, I've got two shades of this yellow. One is lighter and one is darker. The darker is gonna be added on afterwards to kind of create some shading. But what I'm gonna do is actually draw the lemons on with the piping bag. So what I've done is actually cut the piping bag slightly larger because I don't need it as fine as the branches were. And it's important to also note that the cake is cold because I kind of want the buttercream to be setting onto the cake as I'm doing this. Now I'm not gonna apply lemons to every single branch. I'm just gonna place them on randomly and fill in the white areas. So to pipe a lemon, I'm gonna start off more of an oval shape. I'm gonna draw on the top part and the bottom part and leave it like that. And what I'm going to do is draw all of the lemons with the lighter shade before I go on with the darker shade. And do some smaller ones and larger ones. and keeping the piping bag quite flat against the surface. Now, before I add the shading, what I wanna do is actually flatten out the yellow that I've just done. So what I have is an angled palette knife, and I'm just going to use either edge of the palette knife to kind of smooth over what I've just piped on. So I'm going to start off with the first lemon that I did, which I think was this one. And because it's had time to kind of set onto the cold cake, it has this nice resistance. So you're not like taking off the buttercream, you're just smoothing out the surface. It's a very light action, just going over the top. And you can also change the shape if you do need to. and it kind of gives this lovely painted effect. I actually quite like it when there's still some texture on it. And I can neaten up the edges too. Like that. Really makes you feel like an artist doing this.
Now, I always say it doesn't have to be perfect, but what I mean by that is that it doesn't have to look so lifelike. It's just an illustration. So it doesn't matter if they're slightly misshapen or there's a little bit too much texture on. As long as they look lemony-ish, it's good. Yeah. And the more I go over the lemons with a palette knife, the more I can feel the resistance of the buttercream, which means it's cooling onto the cake, which is great. Now I can add the shading and more texture using the darker shade of yellow. So I'm just going around the top and the sides of the lemon. There's a subtle difference between the two shades, but I really do think it adds a bit of depth to the lemons. And then go on again with the palette knife and just kind of blend it in, add some more texture, until you're happy with it really. Okay, so as you can see, I'm building up on the decorations and now it's time to add the leaves. And for this, I'm going to use a smaller palette knife, which is a lot more angled. And you may have seen this in my palette knife painting buttercream video, um, but it is a similar technique. So what I'm going to do is use a non-stick mat and mix together the darker shade of green and the lighter shade of green. Again, adding depth and texture to the leaf color, then apply the leaves to the cake. So I'm just gonna squeeze a generous amount of the dark green, and then spoon on some of the light green. And then with my palette knife, I can mix it up a bit and start taking up the buttercream and spreading it side to side on the back of the palette knife to get my leaf shape. Once I've got a nice build up like this, I can now go onto the cake. Press it on and up. Beautiful. Do it again, maybe something slightly smaller next to it. And continue placing these leaves on the branches to really build up the pattern. And then just to finish off, I'm just going to add a few more leaves just at the very top, as if they've trickled down from a higher branch. And it's just a nice way to fill in the top part as well. Okay, I think that is nice and full enough. I'm glad I was able to recreate the same technique that I did for my sister's cake. You should definitely try this out because it's really fun with playing around with the different textures of buttercream. And like I said, it really doesn't matter if it's not perfect. I hid the squiggly branch somewhere under a leaf. You can even add like smaller lemons back on or even some little flowers. The possibilities are endless. And if you do give it a go, don't forget to tag me in your creation. I really love seeing what you make. In the meantime, if you haven't already, then subscribe to my channel, like this video and comment below with any other technique or tutorial that you wanna see. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you very soon. Thank you.